2019, you were inducted into the CFL Hall of Fame. So tell me, um, tell me how that felt when you received that phone call. What was going through your mind, emotions? Yeah. It, was, it was a very interesting phone call. I was at work at the time and uh, sort of like hung up. And I think I went out and immediately like started, uh, you know, telling all my coworkers. <laughs> and that was, that was fun. But for me, I thought, uh, I thought it, was, it was truly an honor. And I, I was humbled by it. Um, uh, the, the, the names that I'd be entering into the Hall of Fame beside were incredible. Like uh, Terry Greer, uh, David Williams, Tony Fernandez. Like these guys are incredible level players that I grew up watching in the 80s. Um, and to, to be in there with those, those guys, it was, that was incredible by itself. But, but for me, um, especially knowing that I, I was only just eligible to join the, this, the Canadian Football Hall of Fame and then being selected on my first ballot, um, that sort of put me in the class of, of, of even more elite players like uh, Russ Jackson um, and, and then uh, like guys you, you would know um, like uh, the quarterbacks, Doug Flutie, um, actually uh, you know, it's across the board like these guys are all incredible players and, and for me to have the opportunity to, to be beside some of these guys, Tony Gabriel included like Canadian players. Um, it's just that that was truly the honor of my my lifetime there's actually there's like 56 Lou Marsh award trophy winners uh, but there's only 20 first ballot um, the hall of fame uh, people and I was the 20th and that's that's truly like you talk about accomplishments it's it's pretty nice it's yeah. no no word of a lie no sure. word of a lie so what are the perks to being a hall of famer do you get treated any differently do you get to skip the line at the grocery store Anything? Uh, <laughs> well, I, I would I would say the very the very first pick, uh, thing was, and you alluded to it earlier, the the Cornish Trophy. Um, actually, when when all the players from the like to be inducted into the Hall of Fame were entering the Hamilton Stadium, they have a nice foyer, and in there they have a, a few Hall of Fame items. And the newest Hall of Fame item at that time was the John Cornish Trophy, nice big trophy, uh, seated right in the middle of that display case. So every person that was going into the Hall of Fame, those guys I mentioned, they all had to walk past the John Cornish trophy. So that was that was the first real like, yeah, I, I made it. Um, but actually, you know, I've been uh, really appreciating the the. I got I think two uh, like newspaper covers this year, which I could have never never imagined. Like. Five years out of football, you're getting on the front page of, of the, the sun. So I, I was incredibly happy about that. And the sort of that, that sort of served to create some awareness about what I had done, like sort of outside of football in my, in my like banking career. Um, I completed the Charter Financial Analyst Program, one of the hardest tests, testing programs around. Um, so I had that. I had my years of experience working at TD Bank. And so it actually got me recruited. And so I ended up, uh, the Hall of Fame got me uh, my current job because, uh, you know, oh, John's in the newspaper, what's he doing? Oh, you're the CFA? Yeah. So I got uh, uh, po poached by uh, RBC. And honestly, like, for the line of work that I'm in working for RBC, like, you couldn't, you couldn't imagine a better place to be. Yeah. So overall, uh, you know, sort of now I can, like, if I call up a random prospect, I can... I can let them know who I am through a little bit better context. No, oh, I'm, I'm a banker who has X amount of years of experience. Rather than that, I can say, have you ever watched uh, CFO football? Yeah, I watched a little bit. You remember that one player, John Cornish? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I remember him. That's me. That's why it, it helps me out. It helps me out in a multitude of ways um, that, honestly, I'm still learning to take advantage.